feeling like tonight? I mean, you had one of the best games of your career, I feel like. How did you feel about it? I felt that first inning got hit around a little bit and then just, just locked in from there. You know, um, we talk a lot about next pitch, next pitch, one pitch at a time. So that, that's where I went from there. How did you feel after the seventh? Like you're, you're getting ready to come back in another inning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I wanted to go the whole game. But I have to trust what the what the coaches have set plan for me. I also got to trust my teammates behind me. Kyle Kramer is a great man, so got to trust my teammates. How did you feel? I felt I felt like I could go the whole game. That's that's what I felt like. You know, arm felt fine. Yes, arm felt fine. Velocity was good. Uh, I was able to see. I'm, I'm keeping up, so I feel really good. Tell me more right. that inning, though. I mean, that was clutch. I mean, the bases are loaded. Their cleanup hitter comes up. What was kind of you know you, your experience? I guess you've been through these situations. What was that like being in that atmosphere? Uh, it's challenging. It's challenging. It's really easy to to let your mind creep into what you don't want to happen. So you gotta take your breath, talk to yourself, know what you want to happen. And we had the guys on second and third there. Had the guy at three two, and I knew I wasn't gonna give him anything to hit. You know uh, that that comes from experience. So, coach ended up giving you that extra inning and after the last time, third three straight games, you've now set a record for your longest collegiate appearances. What if? What have you learned over these past couple of starts as far as your own limits as a pitcher, physical limits? I don't really like to put any limits on myself when I'm playing. You know, uh, I feel like when I put limits on myself, then I'm not really helping out my team. I'm not going out there giving my 100. So I never feel like I can't keep going. What do you think of the defense behind you? Really good defense. Andrew Bray made a spectacular play. Drew Ferro made a diving stop, almost made the play. I think, I think we played really good defense tonight. Rudy, so Kyle Kramer, of course, came in and got the save for you after the. What was it like watching him pitch and seeing him look, seeing him redeem himself after the North Florida game? Well, I mean, I won't, really wouldn't say that he redeemed himself. You bounce, know, you go pitch back. the pitch, you go pitch the pitch uh, every single outing, and we don't really like to look into the past at all. You know, I, I wouldn't say that he redeemed himself. I just say that he, he does what he does. You know. Um, Struggled a little bit there in North Florida. Things happen. Doesn't matter. What Coach Alfredi mentioned, uh, even when there is defensive runners behind you, it kind of gives you like a, that little extra edge to pitch better because if you're always blaming your defense. How does that affect you when you're going on the mound, knowing that, hey, maybe my defense can fail me, but you know what? I got the stuff to get out of the team. I'm never worrying about my defense failing me. And then anytime there's a runner on second and third, that, that's really when me as a pitcher, I, I lock in and I'm like, I'm not going to let this guy score. So. How much fun was this game, the quality of this game? Tonight? I think it was really fun. I like that it was a close game. You know, my past few games, it hasn't been as close. So I really like that it was a close game. You feel the pressure of the game and you grow from this as a pitcher. Challenges you more than having a big lead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even though we go pitch to pitch sometimes, you know, big lead, you can work a little bit more in terms of like, how you're pitching, things like that. But when the game is on the line, every single pitch has to be great. Is there like kind of like a conference weekend? This is a quality team appearing. The real conference starts next week. And what do you want to see the rest of the weekend? You've been setting the tone every Friday night. Now we got Stags on Saturday, Marlo on Sunday. What are those guys going to do? I don't really care who's pitching on the mound. I expect every, all of one of my teammates to do good. They they work hard. They get after it. And that's the reason why they're playing. Even if they're struggling on the field, like uh, I know that they're going to do great no matter what. Coach mentioned a little bit about your journey from St. Leo to Hillsboro to, to here. Now that you've had these like th three straight pitches where you've gone the longest you've ever gone in your collegiate career, what does it mean to you to be able to have these three starts over these past couple of weeks? I mean, it means a lot. I worked a lot to, to get to to where I'm at now. There was a lot of uh, a lot of practices by myself, and um, you know, in the rain, um, sitting down on a chair when I couldn't walk. So. It means a lot to me to to be able to have this. It works for it. Confidence soaring, but you know you still have work and things that you can do to improve. I mean, I always had I've always had confidence in myself. It's never never been a doubt that I can go out there and compete with the best. I mean, how excited are you to be at this point after going everything you've been through? I mean, this is what you dreamed of getting back to this point. I don't know if there were doubts at any point in time, but I mean, you got to be. This is a, must be a huge rush for you to be in this position. I mean, I wouldn't say that it's something that I didn't expect to happen. I remember laying on my bed when I couldn't uh, couldn't bend my knee and just watching these guys in the tournament at the time and uh, knowing that I would be here in this spot and doing well for my team. After how hard you've worked, makes you mentally tougher? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, it does make me mentally tougher. There's, there's a lot of things I can get through, so 
when I'm faced with challenges, I just I don't really see them as challenges. Something else I can get through. Well, thank you, Rudy. Thanks, Rudy. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, man. You guys have a good night. Appreciate it.